Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the perimeter of composite figures. When we say perimeter, it is distance around a plane figure or a two-dimensional figure. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, these are examples of composite figures. And our task here, or our main focus for this video, is to calculate for the perimeter or the distance around these composite figures. And one thing that you need to know, or to be remembered, or you need to remember, is that you need to be organized in calculating for the perimeter of composite figures. Don't worry because this one is quite easy if you're organized in calculating this kind of thing. So basically guys, all you need to do is to add all these numbers for the perimeter. So in my case, I will start at the top of the composite figure. So I will, stop, I will start with 3 centimeters. Plus, you will add the other measurements. So for me to remember that I, I used to add this number, I will encircle it. And the next one is 4 centimeters. So you have plus 4 centimeters plus 7 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 10 centimeters plus 8 centimeters. All in all, when you add them, you have 3 centimeters plus 4 centimeters, that is 7 centimeters, plus 7 centimeters, that will give you 14 centimeters, and plus 6, that will be 20 centimeters, plus 10, that is 30 centimeters, and lastly you have 8 centimeters, that will give you the perimeter, that is equivalent to 38 centimeters. This is the perimeter of the first given composite figure. So let's move on with the next one. We have this composite figure and as you can see we are missing some parts of it that will lead us to the perimeter of this composite figure. But don't worry, all you need to do is to figure out what is the missing measurements. So as you can see guys, um, this side is 9 centimeters. So we need to know what is the measurement of this side and this side for us to calculate for the perimeter of this composite figure. So imagine this is my way on how to do this. I will draw an imaginary line here and here wherein as you can see if you will connect or we will add this imaginary line to this line which is 5 centimeters that is equivalent to the 9 centimeters. So we will assume that the measurement of this one is equivalent to the measurement of this side minus the measurement of this side. And that is 9 centimeters minus 5 centimeters. Therefore, this is 4 centimeters. And as you can see, they are parallel. So this one is 4 centimeters. Okay? So as for this measurements domain for this side, this is 12 centimeters, and as you can see, the length of this side is equivalent to the length of this side, which is 4 centimeters, and this broken line or imaginary line. So we can say that the measurement of this side is equivalent to 12 centimeters minus 4 centimeters, and that is 8 centimeters. Therefore, this is 8 centimeters. So I can erase this one so we can fully. Um, solve for the perimeter of this given composite figure. So we have the information that we need. So you have perimeter is equal to, I will start with 4 centimeters. We have 4 centimeters plus you have here 9 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus 8 centimeters 
And lastly, you have the four centimeters. And all you need to do is to accurately add them all. You have the perimeter of four centimeters plus nine centimeters that will give you 13 centimeters plus 12 centimeters that is 25 plus five centimeters that is basically 30 centimeters plus eight that will give you 38 plus four that will give you the 42 centimeters as the perimeter of this composite figure. So I hope you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the perimeter of composite figures. In the next part or in our next video, I'll be giving you the topic on how to calculate for the area of composite figure. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!